may have gone over a sign on 74. Yeah, it's a no passing. I didn't remember what sign it was, but I said yeah. it was a trash yeah. word. I was going to say it really wasn't bad. So. Yeah, it's just the one I'm thinking about. It's a yeah. little uh, no passing zone. There isn't much, isn't much there. It's all messed up. We don't even know the machine it fits on anymore. You pull the pickup off? We didn't have well, that one off of a different option. Oh, okay. I can't believe how much that engine brought.
contract arrangements for contract services.
basically reporting the wage levels. Well, I'll start in GM1. Complete and accurate water use reports not received by March 1st. The land owner will be assessed to the fund $250. Received honor before the day since there's no need for water right for permission to be reduced to $25. So basically, if we March 1st, there's no penalty. If we file between March 2nd and June 1st, that's reduced to $50. So basically, we need to establish the line. Basically, it just looks like it's report lake water levels. Yeah. Did you take that one? As we spoke previously, this is to satisfy policies that have already been in effect since 2005 and 2006. And according with Tom Murray at GAMA, we needed some form of instrument in which to qualify people for floodplain management. We have adopted the recommendations. One of those is that the title on this is Kansas Floodplain Management Application. Action County, Kansas Floodplain Management Application. We did add the term right afterwards. It says all development must complete this application. And one other thing we discussed earlier on the second page, there is another little item which has been added since the last time we saw it, which says essentially midpoint on the second sheet there is a highlighted line that says if you seek to perform development within this area. Just before that, we added the sentence that says no address will be assigned for agricultural land without any other use. A dry location and market use site must be specified. This is because we don't normally assign addresses to agricultural property with no improvements or structures. And this is just telling people that that's basically what our proposal is or our policy is. So we need no dry locations if we're going to assign addresses. And with those, if you would like us to continue with this, if you so indicate, we would make it as well known to the public as we can that we're starting to use this. We understand there's no fee for using it. And if I can answer any questions, I will. And so the fact that notice of this permit will be March 1st or it will start today? Starting today, he talked about it needs to be started as soon as we approve it. Okay. But we're going to have, might as well, I mean, no use of it. But the March is when the official new thing, so I mean, this is only going to satisfy those who should have been doing it in the past. Mr. Chairman, I'm going to move forward. And I also would like to say this is, this is going to go to state. Recommendations. So your motion to approve this is to go to state. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you.
record of the Ashton County Kansas floodplain management application. Correct. For the use of And I second that. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Carried 3 0. And you'll get a copy of this on the website, I assume. No. Yeah. Probably get it in the front section where we usually use to highlight stuff or to bring attention to. You said, you said, now that we've approved it, there'll be somebody come and address that. Just to the board and the board. No. That's the resolution. Resolution. Once the new maps are formally presented to the public in March, they will then come back to us and help us rework our resolution to make it coincide with the up-to-date standards. And then in September is when the actual new maps will take effect, is the way they explained it to me. So it's about a six-month period. There's six months. What has occurred to date is they had an appeal period. During the appeal period, there were no appeals. Now, appeals to federal flood mapping are not easy. It's not like calling in and saying, hey, we want to appeal this. You have to show evidence and studies which are deemed more complete than what the state has performed. At the end of that appeal period, we notified them that there were no appeals given to us. They then have 90 days, which is until March 1st or sometime in March, to issue a letter of final map submission to us. And then we have six months in which to adopt it. Well, I'm just curious. Can I stay inside? Do we have the ability to fill this out online electronically? This? Yeah. It will be. Good. I will create a form. Now, it can be filled out electronically. It cannot be submitted electronically because we want a signature on it. Yes. And most people will not have a site plan, so we will be printing out a site plan for them, sketching on it what it is they're intending to do, and then getting them to initial that form. Sure. Okay. I don't want to get in a situation where they say, well, we sent it in and you didn't get it. It's just as well that we say you can print it. It's a form. You can fill it out. You can print it out. You can sign it. You can bring it in. It will help you make sure all the pieces are there. Okay? Okay. So this is on the website, and then the rest of our social media, where else do you publish it so people know about it? Hopefully the newspaper will want to publish it. Okay. We discussed newspaper radio. Okay. Radio would be excellent. Try to get it maybe in the Kansas News. I can give that to him. Do you have a blurb that you want to put on your face? I don't at the moment, but we will write something. Yeah, I think we kind of discussed earlier, Wes, that maybe you should write up a general information release. Release. We also maybe want to target and send it to banks. I mean, there are big problems and stuff. Just to look at contractors. Contractors. Pardon? Realtors. What about realtors, too? Realtors, because they got their leases. Yeah, it probably wouldn't hurt, but in their situation, they're selling the existing property. They're dealing with the existing property. Are there packets with the NR and the sanitation code that this can go into? Do we? What packets? Do they have a packet for the NR and sanitation? Because this would be something that would go with that. Neighborhood revitalization. Yeah, I don't know that we have a packet of it right now, but you know what? That wouldn't be a bad idea. But essentially, you know, we stay on here that they need those other forms. If they're not interested, we won't do it. But the Neighborhood Revitalization Act, we certainly, almost everyone wants to take advantage of that. We need to review that, too, because it's changed a little bit on... They just redid it. Just redid it. In December, we uploaded a new form. Yeah, a new form. But, like, right now, if somebody comes in, I've just seen copies of a copy of a copy of a pamphlet. I think they were talking about putting something together in a folder, more than just... You can go on the website and print it off. Yeah, I know. But, I mean, think about how many people physically come in and request that. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Do you think that paying their taxes in full has hindered the program any? They have to pay in full, but you know, you don't pay in full. You do the class. You have to have them paid in full by May, 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 10, May 10th. Yeah. Half of December 20th, half May 10th. You meant that if you want that, well, I thought they had to have be paid no. in Well, no, you meant that you have to have half before. We have to pay the full half. You have to pay the full half in December and then the remainder in May to get your rebate in June or July. But your rebate would probably come from sooner if you paid it all full in February. Correct. In February. See, I'm not on my new home. I thought it stated that it has to be paid in full to collect the It does. It does. It's not worded right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. The thing needs to be revised. It needs to be rewarded. It has to be paid in full. Not necessarily. It has to be paid in full by the last one. You do at least have to pay half by December 20th or you're kicked out of the... Correct. I know what they're talking about. The wording does say paid in full. It's not clear. It doesn't have to be made in full. It doesn't. Yep. But if you don't pay exactly half or more, December 20th, then that knocks you out also. I think you just told us you're at the one year of the total program. Just one year. Just one year. Is that true to ask to redraft it? I don't know if someone else wants it. Is it involved here? Hold on. Oh, we'll look at it. I think we'll ask to redraft it. I raised my hand is what I did. I don't think it would be very difficult. It's somewhat less professional. I will help do whatever is needed. That's just one of the things I have not been dealing with because there are two other people in the office downstairs that do that. And I'm not trying to step in their territory. I would make a suggestion is just do rack cards. Don't do the pamphlets where you do the full dot. Just do the rack cards. They're much more inexpensive. You can rattle off thousands and hand them out to realtors, whoever business is out there. You would think that the majority of the residents are aware of the tax incentives to do that, but I wonder how much of them really are fully aware of it. There's companies, this is a dead bill here recently that didn't participate in the plan just because they didn't know about it. Yeah. We still get the big push. All three of them together. Kind of like the flood plain. All it takes is the one who didn't know and they're complaining like crazy. And the problem is if they're late, you don't have any authority to approve them late. That's part of the statutory. That's why I was saying the lineups. Huh? We really need to publish this and get it out there. Otherwise people are going to be like, I didn't know. I didn't know. Absolutely. Right now I don't get my taxes. You're talking about this? Yeah. I get like $7,500, $7,700 back. That's like a gift. Yeah. That's a gift. And that's by having it on here, there's no way they can walk out without knowing. Yep. Yeah, by publishing that, it'll publish all of them. Everybody will learn more about it. You also got to make it clear to them that this is, they can't do nothing. They can't do any digging and those are open nothing. Mm-hmm. But they got to be aware of that. It's just a matter of making a call. I don't know if they ever have done this before. Do you have this license? And that's something that the county came up with those laws? It looks like a million. Yeah. Like a whole bunch of different, not to have concrete, to have the house. Hey, period. Out of compliance. Well, I'm not sure. I think this is the first time I've seen this. Yeah. They've already started the construction. We want to do it as a consumer. But they're doing it anyway. It's not really a consumer. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. We want to do it as a consumer. But they're doing it anyway. It's not really a consumer. So, I think that was why. I don't recall whether that's a requirement of the state project or if that's what it is. What's that? Sometimes, you know, they may go out there. Give it a start. I believe it is. I think it is part of the state. Yes. We'll build it next year. Yes. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
It's always exempt from yeah. labor revitalization. But I don't know if everybody quite understands that use of it. So once that foundation is built, it's on tax rolls. So you could have the foundation built before your house is built, and you're still. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. I just don't know. I don't know if the public fully understands all that. I'm sure they do not. <laughs> I'm sure they don't either. I mean, I've dealt with the public a lot of years, and even the simplest possible concepts <coughs> aren't always understood. Mm-hmm. They may understand them, but if they misunderstand them, might be a benefit to you. Know what I'm Absolutely. Yeah. If it's a gray area, they would have to. Anything else for me, or did we love on it? We're done. Good. Thank, Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. I'll, I'll, I'll turn it into yeah. a form and send yeah. it to you. Awesome, I yeah. I no, I'll turn it into a form and send it to you. Thank you. Okay. Can you give me a little blurb that you want on there? Sure. I will do that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just an idea. Uh, I, I can I can reform it and make it look good. I can write it. Can't that's what we do. We have to do this. I have spelled it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Is there anything else? It's all right. Yeah. Okay. We're going to switch it over, I think, Monday to the new uh, server. Okay. So that's the agenda on the. Yeah, everything will get bigger and better. My stuff's still running fine. I just, every once in a while, I run into a little glitch and I'll call you guys. Okay. Oh, okay. I hope you don't mind. I don't. That's my thought. It's not a good plan. 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 That's the important part. Thank you, sir. Hey, thank you. Have a good one. Authorization. Thank you. I signed the addendum to the ambulance building in this agreement. That's really good. That's really good. All in favor, signify saying aye. Call all the way up. You don't have to say aye. They got a lot. Well, uh, it, 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 it's on that, the, the west part, it allows them to go where they're at, um, as long as they're on the west, because it's, um, tax, it's fit there, tax it down, but it's fit the tax. It used to, but it seems like it's been correct. Yeah, it's okay.
about 3,500 gallon of fuel left in equipment. So they usually use about 8,000 gallon of fuel a year off road, and they're carrying over about 3,500. So I cut their fuel bid in half, I only build 4,000 gallon. I went ahead and I I put all the waste on here because I knew Chase was just coming in, so I went ahead and took care of that, and I also. Um, bid 400 gallons at the County Lake. Is that diesel or gas? That's diesel. Diesel. Yeah. Yeah. Did you bid any gas? I didn't bid any gas. Because that's what they use. They don't use much diesel. Yeah. Okay. Is there I don't any more diesel left over for gas? Okay. Well, um, you know, you don't have to go with that. Do we have a clause in that that if fuel drops, we have an option of and for and carry that money over to the next year if we don't I don't like to see that put in there. No. So um, it, that's not in there. No. You shake your head no, it's just not in there, would it be a good idea? You can't do it. Well, a person can't do it, so I'm not sure that the county could. Um, because you use that as a tax expense throughout the year. Like a person like if I went in there and I contracted or prepaid Ten thousand gallons of diesel. <coughs> if I don't use it by the end of the year, they can roll my dollar amount over to something else. You <coughs> have to use it in a year. This is way. different. But we tried to get the prepaid propane kicked off when I was on the farm. We couldn't mm -hmm. get it, couldn't get it, so I came up with that idea, and man, it took off. Were we given the option? Let's say the contract for a dollar fifty and propane they could buy a dollar thirty. Mm -hmm. They had the option to buy and pay for it. And then to carry that over to the next year, toward your next year's contract, mm -hmm. and it took off. You're using like hedging. I think that's you could, you could ask them to do so, whoever it is, um, but they they contract with their supplier for that gallon. And if then if they told you that, I bet you they're going to say no. <clears throat> Just because I deal with their, well, I, one of your bids. I, <laughs> I deal with them a yeah. lot, and I bet you they're going to say no because. Um, that would, could be a huge liability for them. So you can ask. <coughs> because it, they contract this many gallons sure. with um, Phoenix, which is where they buy the fuel from. Um, and if they don't use that at that dollar, right, then they get then they get the cost difference. So granted, you may get the same gallons a year, but if you get a cheaper price, and then they go and eat that, then it's going to cost them. I, I bet you they would say no. But I can give you the phone number first thing they that. Because it would be above it would be above the fuel man. Mm -hmm. You know. I know I'm pretty good. <coughs> and we got a little bit of price this year on the people. Alright. Do we get a better better price? Uh a more gallons per drop? Like when they pull out to your station, they drop two or three thousand gallons. Do you get a better price than if they drop five hundred? No, it's yeah, con yeah. it's contracted. It's the same price. Whether we get ten gallon or a thousand gallon. We ever get a new road bridge, we need to get it thanks to hold the tank load and you get twelve or eighteen cents. Right now we've only got a ten uh, thousand gallon tank is all we've got. We need we need to go oh, with that's it. Pull that tank truck. We've mm -hmm. got one thousand gallon for truck diesel and one thousand gallon for really? Okay. If you get a thirty five hundred gallon tank that. you'll get semi pricing. Yeah. You'd have to get a sixty five hundred tank. You'd have to take thirty five hundred. They'll do thirty five hundred. Okay. I'd say it's you get even better if they just you say drop the whole load at sixty five hundred. Correct. You say five there. And the long run they more pay for your taxes. They will. Not your freight coverage. You have a difference with the 35, with that big of a tank, though, you have to have a containment around your fuel, yeah. which you currently... Anything over 13, you're going to do it. Yep. So you have to build a containment around your tank. Yeah. We're yeah. probably at that point in, yeah. yeah. I think you've got three wall, wall tanks. you got what? Double wall tanks. Can I get you out? Because I noticed that one time. How do we get the box? You'll yeah, there's a tank inside the tank. There's a containment. Out of containment. But I think the state wall is 13. Yeah. You can have a bunch of thousand, but if you have one tank over 1,300, then you have to have a container. So you could have 10,000 gallons in there and 1,000 gallon tank. That's why we've got containment around our overhead. Well, we had to yeah. go in a few years ago and build a wall around the mm -hmm. I can't see spending that money in our current location, but once we relocate, that would be full of that. Be a larger tank and get a better, you know, get a cheaper price. Or maybe drop. 
still need to stay local though because of your tanks that are throughout the county. Right.
That's the same form I used last year. I just changed the date to a few gallons. Consumer's bid, um, clear diesel, 379, dive diesel, 352, unloaded gas, 309, and the figures were the same for the solar waste and cannulate. Jackson Farmers. Jackson Farmers uh, clear was three fifty six. Dive was three forty. Unleaded three thirty. The same figures for solid waste and the lake. Is this an all that has to be? I mean, they're quite a bit cheaper on diesel than the west side of Alaska. Gas is uh, 21 cents a gallon more. Well, the way it's wrote, I, the way I had it, we could pick and choose. It looks like um, Jackson Farmers got the diesel fuel and consumers have the gas. Which you didn't tell a year ago, that's the way it was. I would buy it before.
Yeah. Yeah, that's the same thing. 322. Yeah. Uh, Gasoline last year was 322. And so clear was 350.
The way that he structured the bid, though, it specifically says provide a quote for the amount of diesel fuel. I think you can bid this up, right? I think you can get your diesel fuel from one and let it from another. That's why I chose the bid. Yeah, that's what I was... I think we're all on the same page. Okay. It's a matter of... They need to know... I mean, because the county makes it a different location, too, so they ought to honor that and deliver it. Okay. Because we only got... Well, Gantz went with... What? Gantz went with Jackson Farm? No, Gantz went with... Consumers had a little bid for that, yes. So, right now... They were aware of it, but they weren't aware of the state budget being on the ground. Kind of like, you know... You know, and that's why they were probably... They are... Yeah, they do, yeah, because they bid on diesel, because it's on diesel. That's true. Okay. We always charge it to pass the county. I mean, if they don't accept it, they just don't accept it. Maybe just buy it at will. That's needed. So, you want to accept the motion for the diesel fuel purchase? And then we can do one for your lender? Yeah, I would move we would approve the bids from Jackson Farmers for both the clear and dyed. The clear at $350 a gallon, based on how many... Totally. And then dyed... $20,000 undyed, $19,400 dyed, and $7,000... It's $340 or $356. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
But it all fell through solid waste. Uh, we have a mess. But with a new system, would that be simple? Should be. Should be. Yeah. You just need to track that point when you use. That's that's what we're talking about the car and swipe. You don't want you to know. Now you're talking about great. I think that's what you mentioned. Something we can work on. Hard frozen ground, pretty hard on. 
legs here for each of those. I had a couple of horse ribbons and got the same. Yeah, um, I guess you're lucky on the one. Like everybody, uh, you're up that. I go out there and just check it out, it looks like it got pretty hairy. So.
glad there wasn't any issues with lentils on that side. I, mean, I assume they looked at all those too. But, uh, the problem was all inspected. We had uh, somebody clean the stone and repoint the, the stone part of the club. Okay. And when he went around, he asked him to specifically look at the lentils, which were they were all good. Appeared to be in good shape. We're still at all 100%. And I showed you guys pictures of the lentils sure. took out. And it was we saw some of those. We saw that one in that corner. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, one with that little piece going out of the other. Well, some of them were all but gone. I mean, literally, there was no metal left by the time they got dropped in the two parts. They yeah. Well. I'm, just, I'm just thinking, I'm just being proactive because we always get these big projects done for our lap. I can, you know, if something goes out, I just know that those are not too far behind the old ones. I mean, they're all the same ages as other ones that took out. But right. Right, and I, I would hope between the, 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 the because of this other project, Memorial Hall's had to spend a little money here and there. It looks like the project's going to come in at budget, not the lower above, but high at budget. So I would hope that all that would help. And of course, whenever it's done, we'll know for sure if that's the way, it's, the way it is. And then I am working on getting a good uh, a guesstimate on it to give us an idea of what it will cost. So that we know we can get some funding or not. You know, that would be great. I mean, they make such a huge difference. You walk around the upstairs of the base and the downstairs, and it used to be you just feel like you're walking by a block of ice. And now it's just like you're, there's nothing there. I mean, it's just like this. We may even have to put in ceiling fans now because the upstairs seems to be getting hot. And before it was. So just take off that, just take off that fall ceiling. <laughs> yeah, that's that come in? It's tall. It's way up there. Mm -hmm. It's a 12 foot. Why did they ever put that in? I'm just curious. What's they what put in a drop ceiling probably 10 or 20 years after it was built, and then that other ceiling they put in there in the 60s. And I think it's just looks. I'm not sure it isn't. I, I don't know what looks like above that, but well, above it's just grid work like a bridge, truss, truss bridge. There's just three or four of them across there, and then above yeah. it is. Plastic mm. yeah. So much time I'll there to put that in the It does get hot up there, I'll tell you that. Yeah. It'll run you out. Yeah, it's getting, I think I'm going to turn the border down because I think the ceiling's going to be too hot. It used to kind of turn and come up the stairway. It used to stay about the same, but I think now with the windows. Even on the south side where the old windows are, still so it's getting hot. Right, right, yeah. So, but, I mean, there are definitely a few jobs that don't have doors in it, so. But it's, it's a big difference. And a big improvement, I mean, anybody try to find it, say, wow, it's a big difference. So, anyway, that's, that was my plan. So, yeah, to get those prices. Mm -hmm. I think, Chris, did uh, you talk with Joe about um, Irene? Okay. Yeah, I haven't built that all that. Thanks. Yeah. I appreciate uh, yeah, that was, I mean, somehow that passed by us, and I thought she should have been included on that phrase where you give your whole department that. But uh, when you had talked about the snow, it just <coughs> got in the back of my mind. Matt was, if he had been here, I think we talked to Matt's schedule to get in trouble this year. I think we said something about Boston Bellamy Road and put it on a purple wing or something. It was something you could use. I was wondering, should we just go ahead and leave the snow pile on there? Like, it'll get different for his new truck. That way, you've got something. I mean, do you have anything like that in your present in the arsenal? No, no that'd be a better for parallel. I would be super if I had a blade on my truck, too. Or one that's parked here, whichever. I mean, it would help a bunch. I, I just thought it'd be a, a good start. You know, it will have a lot of value. We transfer a little less money. We had talked earlier when Matt was bringing that proposal that we, you may just inherit or get that truck. And I got to think of later, why not just put the let the snow fly exist when you get your truck and you put a new snow fly on the and stuff. So that gives you something to work with here in the city. <coughs> because, you know, if we get the new ambulance, you know, that's going to be a pretty big area out there to clear out. Well, road and bridge does that already. Road and bridge does that anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they take care of that, and somebody has been 
I don't know who it is, I've got to find out because it won't happen it this way. The town has to go ahead and push that back the other way. So I don't know who the danger I have to get asked. Whoever's clear and parallel right now, I don't know if it's the city or the county, but the roll in half of the north and half of the south. I doubt, I doubt it does. It'd be sued on it, so it's going to be sued Ashton. Well, they used to wouldn't touch it, you see. But I don't know if it's good. They just started this year before they didn't really touch it. Right but the roll in half of it to the south, and that makes a big place where they would have to crawl up over to get to the sidewalk. So the town pushes it all back to the door. So it's going to be sued by Ashton.
beautiful thing for the community. It would just be that they'd have to come through this plan.
What are you going to do with the corrupt ops in the meantime? Yeah. Are you going to be using them or are you just going to warehouse them? What are you using them for training? Well, like, for example, the CIC is going to run a year of training, so I don't have to use the laptops up here. Because I don't have ten desktops in my back pocket to use for that training. So we can use them for that. Um, if we we train every yep. year, where where are we need computers? Mm -hmm. Dumb question, but why wouldn't you could you use tablets as an alternative to laptops? No, you can't use tablets. You probably could, but I don't have the money for that. <laughs> tablets would be cheaper to use. Yeah. Correct. No, 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 no. You can't use a tablet for for when this is a for an ESC. Because the AM also prints from all the matter when we never use it. And you'll print right. that will eat print. Correct. Right. I'm just asking because I don't it's have it at all. I mean, I have my bag that I use a lot. So if you can't do it in an emergency where you're working really, really fast trying to figure out how to use a tablet, it is not acceptable. I mean, after seeing that list, I'm not I'm just asking. Yeah. I mean, I, I it, it's more functional and it'll be, it'll have a longer, because he was just asking about the life cycle. It will outlast the life of it. But how do we learn PIC on the tablet? It's got to be compatible at some point. I mean, you know that. After seeing that list, how many computers it kind of has, I find it hard to believe that we have about 10 computers in the surplus. Yeah, we've, we've used all of our, we've used all of our extra computers that came out of offices, like as each department gets new ones, we bring them back to the IT office, we throw them out of our own, and we send them up to Senior Village, and um, at that point, and Senior Village. So they want to spend money on computers, so they're happy with it. But we don't have any that are acceptable. We had one loan that we kept, but it's sitting in, well, June can well ever replace her. It's sitting in the office until they buy a new computer. Well, the reason why I say CSC is because you have a VPN, you can sign up from home and do stuff mm -hmm. on our network. Correct. So therefore, you could, you could be doing it from a table. Right. How would you expect our employees to learn CIC on the tablet? I'm just I'm asking the question because <laughs> you guys think about this five to ten years out. I mean, Mike just asked why you know. I would say five years. Five years ahead to be on a tablet, so I'm I'm not comfortable with it now. No.
will be accessible if the computer crashed or something. Correct, because we're going to load every software that we're going to use on it. Well, that's another question. I assume that you'd have to be in the cab or have the software on it that would be in the cab. Say, what Paul needs or something went down or something. So you can bury the other one in there. And she can come in there and plug that one in and just go right back until you get the other repaired or plug it into it. And then, say, we have a building that burns down. Say, a new section burns down or a new big courthouse burns down. We can send the computer so they can go over here or to another building somewhere that has internet access and use those to conduct business until we get them back. I'll give you my opinion. If you were buying these strictly just for this class, I would say... I would say no. I would say no. Yeah. No, I didn't want to buy them specifically for this class. No. But I have to be able to tell Hayden that, yes, we can send it over here. See, because right now we can't. It's got one of those deals that you've got to justify what the grant money's for and he's got to go after them to use it for what... What they want. Or what they are allowed to get. It's kind of... It is kind of a win-win situation. It is. They're going to pay for it. And we get to use them. I think it is. Well, to me, it's the EFEG grant. Yeah. No, what I would do is that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is the long part. It won't be as fun. The EMS bill. It's a topic that Jay is initiating today. And they are about to ready to go out to bid on the EMS bill. Who are not having it? I have several more pieces of paper. You have three pieces. Three pieces. Okay. So that is the most up-to-date exhibit sheet. This is what was signed on the contract in October. Almost the second. He had to add... Oh, sorry. The first one I gave you was the first one that was both signed on the contract. The first one was when he originally came in. The very day ago. This is what was signed on the contract. Because we took out the paper system because I was told we wouldn't need it. And it turned out we did need it. So the state is not going to do that? No. I think it's the first one. Okay. So this is what was signed on the contract. October. This is the very first one. The first one. This is what was signed on the contract. And this is what we're at now. Okay. 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 Okay.
<coughs> okay, so I still have a today. Um, they're not sure if it's still or not, if they have to go across the creek. I don't think they do. That's why I brought you that picture. Um, that shows you where the water line and where the sewer line is. So we're going to check that out more. Because that made $15,000 to get to the water. Right? The blue line. The blue line is the water. Yeah. 
see the beam strip in the more hall shop is that's true. You know, mm -hmm. it, it, it can be quite a bit less than what we even thought. I see this coming in by the last one. Destination of course. <laughs> 50. I'll say that if you want, but no, I, I see it coming in 200,000. Half of what they're asking? Well, we have to remember that the rest of this is I see construction coming in 200,000. You're spending um, 35, 45, 50 grand on, on yeah, inspections and, and engineering project and costs. Yeah, I mean, project cost is heavy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, take 50 grand out for contingency. I'd be 250. We're going to get surveyed out of this. I can be wrong. I can be wrong for it. I think everybody is for guests and all. You get focused. I hope you get down to two fifty. Everybody's hungry right now. You're calling me one. So I see it making it happen. Well, I think it's a big enough project. I mean, the FEA, yeah, let's face it, the FEA project wasn't was necessary. It wasn't a big project. This was quite a big right. project here given the time of the year. Yeah. I mean, we, we were actually, in all honesty, probably a little bit lucky in happening because if we did it in late fall, they still had jobs going on. Mm -hmm. And if it would have been, been a project this size, they wouldn't even start on it until yep. spring or, or later in the winter time. So. Yep. Oh, and, and this, this installation is um, the simple saver system, which is fiber glass installation. And we're going to do a bid alternate on the spray foam. So we're going to price both them to see which one is better. I know it's people who do that. I do too. I do too. In fact, I, I found some other people that did it besides those people mm -hmm. and said it because I didn't want it. Yeah. They didn't write something I was pushing them. So. Yeah, put it up there. That's good. Yeah. So we're going to put them both up to bid because, I mean, the foam does structurally enhance your building a lot. So. But you see the checkers. Well, it, it, it has a tendency to fill a little crack mm -hmm. that can be there. I mean, mm -hmm. it'll, it'll really tighten the building up yeah. in terms of longer term savings on the heat and stuff. So. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a little, we'll just have to see how they do it. This is his estimate on the, that it'll be $3.10 square foot instead of two forty. So, I guess for him, after the screen. So, but first of all, unless that engineering fee would come with us too, would it? Correct. Yeah, the agreement was 20 some thousand. It was, it was 24 some access. Yeah, 24,000. Yeah. So, so we, know that we know that there's a little bit of savings there. So. Yeah. 24,000 or 10% of the order cost, whichever is left. They probably bid these up for a high, so when you get the figures, not less, you say, oh, yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he doesn't want to come, he doesn't want to get bid and be in, and tell you that the $350,000 for $308,000. So, yeah, they're, they're real high. But, well, he would say a high number and give you a low number for a, a lesser number. So, yeah. Accurate, it's nice. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah. All right. Well, I just want to show you those. Yeah, you think of your range. I know what you're saying. You think of your range. <coughs> and with that medium range, so it would be pretty close to what. Yeah. I'd say 90% or better. If the bid comes in a lot lower, they're going to go for it. And I'd say 90%, they give you a bid that's higher than they would Good plan. Yeah. But I'm like that. I think they can get closer. Well, this might see what happens. Oh, I'm going to USC 494 and I'm going to have them sign a mutual aid contract to where something's flattened in the town and they use a school as a center for something. So we have our mutual aid contract for that. I already have USC 377 done. 
last week and he last week in January.
Well, you were slated to get a process here. What's that? You were slated, you were slated in your budget to possibly replace your truck, wasn't it? Oh, my personal truck, yeah. Yeah. And we said something to Joe that he might be able to figure the value of it to transfer it over to him. We also wanted, if we could just add the tables to leave that, to leave that, you may just have to get him to put your blade on your new vehicle. That way he'll have something here to help. That's what I was saying. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. But I don't know if we ever fully discussed that. I was under an understanding that I would, when I got my new truck, I would just have it outfitted with a new blade. Okay. I didn't think we were officially discussing it because I think we were just figuring the value of the truck. But I mean, there'll be a value in your truck that we'll have because we've got a value in our gut money and his intent to replace the vehicle. Yeah, I haven't been in a real hurry to get a new truck. Yeah, I haven't been in a real hurry to get a new truck. I haven't been in a real hurry to get a new truck. Actually, I think if you wait a little bit, it'll be, it'll get a little bit better. On governmental, huh? You've got a 2015 truck. If you wait much more. Yeah. I talked to Lewis real briefly and he said that, yeah, it would be 2015 now. But I haven't been in a hurry. I'll get some other things. Get screwed up and I'll get some design truck. You don't push yourself out here to do that. We saw it. Because Joe was saying he didn't know who would be back then on the snow blue north instead of some other north south. Yeah. So I presume it's the city. Yeah, I'm not sure. We saw it around the courthouse, but I don't know if it was it. We were doing action on that. We were supposed to have to. Yeah. Well, Nathan Everall, the very smart person he is, sent me a bunch of data they have on that. It's been interesting to read. I'll pour it on you if you guys want to look. This is 2006, and this is 2012. So this is his cars? Yeah, we can use this. This is what they're using for comparing to see on the mortgage registration fee. Kansas is like one of the last, if not the last, that has mortgage registration fees. You're going to see, I was trying to tally up, you see the top 13 now. No. So he said that, so what do you think? So what do you think? So what do you think? Most have like a property transfer, which is percentage. There's several states that have, we're one of the higher ones. So that gives us an opportunity to get the property transfer. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. 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 Yeah, that's what I was going to say
somewhere in the 1 to 1.2 mils for, I mean, just about uh, any county you go to, the, the effect that it would have. So, here, look at probably 130 to 150,000 for us. But, I mean, I also, I also understand the argument that the banks have, the, bank, the bankers' association is the one that's pushing it, is just that the Federal Land Bank and those that because they're federal, they have their tax exempt on their mortgages to farmers and stuff, so it doesn't make it fair to them to make a loan and more argument than it basically. Yeah. And I mean, that's pretty hard to argue against. There's, you know, there's a consensus building either make it the same all across the board, which either means zero or, you know, raising one up to the other. I doubt if you'll get enough strength to get the other one. Uh, I don't know if I can be wrong, but I doubt if you get the other one off. Do you? What was that? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I don't know if they would have enough. Well, it's, it's a federal. Well, yeah. It's a federal deal. You'd have to fight. You'd have to fight at the federal level. That's true. I'm sending it to you. Nathan sent it. Nathan's pretty. It must be whatever they're looking at to determine what they're going to do with this. But it, it goes, it goes state by state, and it shows each state as it's what type of, uh, what type of deed or mortgage tax Kansas is one. Yeah, I mean, he even know that he's like Kansas is probably the last remaining one that has a true mortgage registration fee. So. I have a harder time testifying. Kansas versus what the because I have to go testify from Kyle again. <laughs> it would it'd be hard just looking at that sheet in Alaska, so it's 13 states with nothing. So. Okay. All right, for the business, let's say we, well, I'm just adjourning. It's temporarily adjourned to go down. Okay, yeah, just there, or to recess to go. Yeah, recess. Go